but uh, uh, uno bagara wa mo. Uno bagara wa mo. I do not know what happened. Uh-huh. Cut off like that. Okay, mm. so let me open it again on your catch. Sorry about oh. that. Oh my God, everything just shut off. All right, so let me put the reading again because I don't have it anymore. Let's see. One second, everybody. Um, boy, 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 boy. So let me see. Oh, so let's pause it a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting the reading, so it's just cut off like that. Okay, so we are back again. Um, on your card, wow, 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 it's not opening. Okay, so let me share the reading again. Um, on your card, do you see it? Okay, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the to Onyekachi said that angel, Mozi, is an angel. So you make a note there, Mozi, angel. Or if you don't didn't print it out, then write it on your notebook. Mozi means angel. That way. Now, this is the beauty of reading. Now that you see this word, you know the meaning of it. The more you read, you expose yourself to new words that you don't even know. And that's how you pick your vocabularies. So there is a beauty in reading, whether it's English or Igbo, okay? Any language at all. You read, you read more, you expose yourself to more words that you don't know, that you get to know. So, but you can't just be reading and keep going. You don't know what you're reading. And then you see more the next time. You don't know what it means. That's not how to move forward. So I need you all to know because Next time, before we start reading again, I'm going to pick some words here and ask you what is the meaning. Now you know what is Mozi. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is different from Mozi. Mwansa, Mozi. Now you should know the difference between two of them. Mwansa, mm. Holy Spirit. Mozi, an angel. Okay? So Mozi, that. Aho is that. Mozi aho. Whenever I see a word, aho. When I say, uh, what aho? Moke aho. That man. Mwani aho. That woman. Mwata kere aho. That boy. Mwaho. You see that? So you need to know all this. Mozi aho. Where bullye me elevated me. Bullye me means elevating you. Moza he we bullye me lu. Nike with the Holy Spirit strength. Power of Holy Spirit. Ike means power or strength. Ike means power or strength. Ngwanye kache gwakwa. Oh, we go see more, but don't say. No, 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 be do. Uh huh. We bully me, monsa. Okay, get be do now. Oh, bugam. Oh, bugam. Not ugu di. Okay, lo. Gine ugu. Hmm. Hell. Huh? Ugu is hell. Oh, he actually go mountain. Ah, okay. Yeah, in this case, ah, in this case. It, it could mean month because this is this reading is from Bible. Mm. So it's from a Bible. So um it could be mountain or it could be a hill. A hill is also something that's higher than a, a normal level. So mm. you can call it a mountain, you can call it a hill. So everybody, when you see anything, ugu. Now when you say, um, maybe uh, a friend will call you, oh. 
Oh, uh, I'm in the mountain. Oh, I'm I'm climbing a hill. Mm. I'm climbing a hill or I'm climbing a mountain. So they all mean the same thing. So a hill or mountain is the same word when it comes to Igbo. It's Ubu. Elugu can be a hill, can be a mountain. So you won't be wrong. Okay. Nelugu di okelu. When you say okelu, what do you understand? Very high. Very, very high. Something that is very high. Good. When you catch it, we need another person to read. We need a volunteer. Just like when you catch it, volunteer. When you catch it, thank you so much. Dalum kuku. Okay. Kadonya also get what put on my granny. Because I told everybody to go ahead and practice it. So you're trying to tell me on your catcher was the only one? Okay, I'm going to appoint. Uh, Ralongwa. Oh, Dozia, Dozia, ne will like it. Dozia, Uh, Bido, Eba, on your catcher, Bido, Owe, Go, Sim, Obodon, Sah, Bujero, Selen. Kosi neli igwe nebe chine keno na redata. We are going to explain it because I want you to know the meaning. Bidokwa owe gosim. Owe gosim, owe gosim, obodo. Nso, nso aho. Nso aho. Nso aho. So owe gosim showed me or revealed to me that country or the state that is you know that is very holy or very pure so but jerusalem is talking about jerusalem okay from above okay where god is okay where god is residing and is coming down that's basically what it says okay Onye ngwa gugare kwa yo we go sim. Owe o go owe go sim. Obodo. Nso nso aho. Bo Jerusalem. Ka o sim. Ka o si. Ka ka o si. N el elu. This is na. This thing is na. Ko si na elu. You see? Pay attention to how you pronounce your Igbo words. Every letter must be pronounced. Kaosina, eligwe, nebe. When whenever I see N with this apostrophe, so it's na eligwe, nebe chineke, chineke. Don't rush it. Mwa bidokwa. Kaosina. Kaosina. El Elwikwe Na Ebe Chineke Na No 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 Na No er, This is a comma Ebe Chineke No Na Areda Ta Okay Ebe Chineke No No You na. have to call it together You are not supposed to pause after Chineke Ebe Chineke No Okay. Ebe chineke no na erindata. Na are. Na are data. Dalo, go akwa, uh huh. Oh, oh, jupo, oh, jupo tara na ebube chineke. Okay, na, oh, jupo tara. Okay, it's filled with the God's spirit, it filled with a bube. Something is like radiating around it. The, you are feeling it. You are feeling the wave. You are feeling that spirit, okay? God's spirit, God's power. That's ex exactly what he's saying. Oju putara ne bube chineke. Or you can say, oju putara ne bube monso. That Holy Spirit, all right? Mwa acharam konyo azobide ba meka. Oji putara ne bube chineke ne eun mana achakwa deka nkume deka siri okono ahia. Okay, when he says 
something about nemu something that lights. Okay, when I say munyoku ko muru, munyoku means put light, let it light, let the light shine. So I say nemu mana chaka na chakwa. Something is brighten or something is really brighten up. Okay, dika unkume. It's like you see a stone glittering, a stone just blasting light. So it's just trying to tell you that the thing is so bright, but you see light coming out of it, like a stone just showing that light. Okay, and something that looks so expensive, like diamond or gold. That's exactly sometimes uh, Bible talks in parables, but. Is trying to make you think and understand the enormous, it's trying something that is very, very unique. That's what it's trying to make you understand here. Okay, diokonwaya. When you hear that something is all diokonwaya, it's very expensive. All diokonwaya, something that is very, very expensive. Di ka nkume, jasper. So nkume is just a name of it. This just by hearing something to I associate it with. Nkume is stone. Opute is also stone. Nkume means stone. Opute means also stone. Okay. Deka nkume, crystal. You see, so you use this crystal. It's nkume, a crystal stone. That's nkume is a, a stone. Crystal. It's trying to help you understand exactly what it's trying to say. Ngwe meka achron kibido eba ose. Obodo aho. Obodo aho. Nwe kwara. Mbidi. Di oke elu. Go by yourzo. Read it again. Obodo aho. Nwe kwara. Obodo aho nwe kwara. Oboda who no acquire Mbidi di the okay elu. Okay, Guinea okay. will boda where Mecca that country, that country or that place. So they can, you can use Oboda that place. It means whether it's a state, whether it's a country, whether it's a particular area. So it said that place, okay, has Mbidi, okay. In Igbo land, okay? In Igbo land, they built, in, the, in those days, they, be, they used clay to build uh, a bed where you sleep, okay? They use it to build a bed where you sleep. Or they can use it to build something, a mound, a mound that is very high to make it elevated, okay? When they build a mound and elevate it, it looks like a little bit hilly. Okay, so it's trying to tell you that that place has him with the, which is a place, a mound that is a little bit high up. Okay, Mwabido go up where Mecca? A boss in Kenware? In Kenware or no Uzo Iri that abo. Okay, and then they build this thing with the, which is a mound that has doors. Okay. It has how many doors, Emeka? Twelve. It has twelve doors. Irina abo. Mwekwa ndi muzi. Gine wu muzi, Emeka? Angel. Angel. It also has angels, okay? Irina abo. How many angels? Twelve. Okay. Ndi neche onuzo. Ahu, nche. Gine wiche onuzo, nche. Onye kachi gini wiche onu zonche. Mm. When okay now when you go to parties these days you have what security guard or police people oh. right? There uh, you go. Okay. <laughs> so they have angels that guide those doors. Ndi mm. neche he says mwe kwa ndi muziri na bo ndi neche onu those doors. On who's on check, are night watchers or security guards or cops. 
So to prevent intruders or anything happening, that's what it is. So I'm trying to take over to finish this uh, paragraph. Ede kwa sekwara. No news. Ede kwa sekwara. You see this long word. I'm going to ask you about this. Ede kwa sekwara. No news. O news. Iri na abu ahu. Ebe iri na abu onke. Mozi Israel. Ede kwa sekwara. It's written. It's written. Ede kwa sekwara. It's that it's written. Something is written. No news. Iri na abu ahu. Ede kwa sekwara. No news. So this Mozi, which is angel, they were all embedded there because you won't see them. But in real life, you will see night watchers, you see a, a police guy, guard, you see people guiding places. But in the Bible, this is just talking in parables. So we have angels guiding them. Ede kwa sekwara. So know this word. It's written or it's being put in place. So you need to know this, okay? All right, so we're going to stop here today because I have uh, another class. So everybody, I'm going to post this reading again. You have to go over this reading, everybody, and get used to it, read it fluently. Even if you don't know the meaning, put your words together. Before we start next week, I'm going to ask you about these words. I want you to tell me the words that you don't know. We go over them before we start reading. That's what we're going to do. You tell me the words you don't know. We go over them before we start reading. Everybody should know this. I know some of you are taking your exams now, especially the college students. I understand that's why some people didn't come to class. But I understand if you can, please come to class. We are going to learn to read. Learn to read. I want you guys to pick up fast. Cordial. Mm,